On Monday, the Virgin Islands Water and Power Authority reissued an invitation for bids looking for someone to supply fuel oil for the authority's facilities on both St. Thomas and St. Croix. WAPA wants 80,000 barrels delivered per shipment based on generation needs for their two power plants. Their original bid response was limited, which they believe is because Hovenza agreed to sell us below market price fuel through December. We found out through feedback from some major suppliers that may have been interested in responding to the IFB that they would not be able to competitively price their supply while the our agreement with Hovenza was still in place. But Cassandra Dunn says those suppliers are ready to submit competitive bids, which are due August 22nd, with delivery scheduled to begin no later than December 1st. And there is a key difference between the first bid and this reissued one. WAPA is creating an option now that would make us less reliant on utilizing any storage facility or any nearby storage facility because we are uncertain of the availability of that storage. Governor John DeYoung Jr. rejected Hovenza's proposal Monday to allow them to operate as an oil storage facility. On St. Croix, Hovenza operates the only docking, storage, and distribution facility for fuel. Their contract with WAPA extends through this year, but finding a new supplier could cost us 20 to 25 percent more because Hovenza was selling us discounted fuel. That is a projection based on what might be uh, market prices. However, again, you know, we'll be doing everything we can in our negotiations with those who respond to to the invitation for bid to certainly stay below that number. We will be dependent on fossil fuel uh, for a few more years to come, but we're doing everything that we can to decrease that dependence. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.